choice i'm gonna go and this is wasteland 3 we did find a little tape here and uh it said that regan and co over here think that the people of uh, colorado springs are communist yeah i don't know though we cannot really uh tr yeah hello we cannot really trust any of them now can we that is a sad thing though if you think about it but uh yeah, we just have to know for sure, right, you know? And that's the problem, too. I want to take these out. All of them. All of them. Oh, wait a minute. This switch is now off, yes. We just have to do this, right? Yeah, the switch right over here, probably, to take this out. So, if we go here, we have a nice little advantage over here, right? There's one trouble, though. It's this. And this. So maybe it will be wiser to take him out over here. But then again, maybe not so much. It's a difficult choice, though. It's a difficult choice indeed. Papa. Let's see. Ooh, who are you, big boy? Who are thou? Hmm. Looks like this shell of a... What? Looks like she held out for a while. Must have been cold, slow, hungry death. Yeah. The fire there, right? You know, that's a major problem. Um, to the tomb. Now, I think what we might do is actually lure them in here, right, you know? Probably. Ah, nice, though. The Gippers, uh, enemies are already dwindling big time, by the way. So that's a beautiful thing. I do appreciate the message, right, you know, of them losing everything that they care about. But oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I want to go right over here for now. Hmm... You should be bleeding right now, though, because Peggy has that bleed attack, right? But oh well. Okay. Oh, of course we are missing. Of course. Ooh, this guy, man. This guy. Yep. Let's go. Nice. I want Peggy to go a little bit further backwards, by the way. That's going to be very important, too. I want them to actually come towards us. And maybe Lucia Weston should so be in range. Maybe. Not sure how this guy can hit her from there. I mean, do you see what I mean? He cannot really poke over though, right? You know, so that's a little bit odd too. All right, from here we can. Let's take care of this guy. Seems to be a little bit more important. All right, let's go. Everybody just follow us over here. Oh, yeah. Like a cloud. Oh, I was uh, talking already, you know, in my in my mind there. You know, with them, like, clown, payasos, and the sky. Man, those guys are getting creepier each time. Peggy's on fire. This is a very naughty thing for her to do. I do not approve of that message, though. No, 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 no. Nice. I think we should give her some cover, to be honest, right? Yeah, let's go there. And you, Peggy, you have to heal yourself up. All right. Ah, this might be a bit of trouble. There we go. This is better. Still a little bit of a waste, though, but it's better than not. And six. There we go. Right in the head. Not a lot of damage, though, uh, output there. For one simple reason, it has a very, very thick head, though. Oh, yeah. Nice. The sniper has to be gone rather soon. Whoop. All right. So how many more are here? Oh, I see. By the way, what does this do, huh? Are these snipers? I think they are snipers. That means trouble for us. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, nothing there. Nothing there, but maybe with this one. Oh boy, nothing either. But oh well, let's go. Next round. Oh, they are both melee. That's interesting. I just want to say, are we lucky that both of them do nothing? Good for 96, yeah, the uh, snipers. Nice one, big dude. Nice one indeed. Kurigo, on the other hand. Yeah, we might actually be going here, down here. Sure. 
One sniper down, man. That's a job well done in my book, huh? Bum, 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 bum. Nice. So you can do another one. Why not? Right here in the arms. Nice. And then right over here. You are a little bit too far away. Hmm. I cannot do much. So let's take care of this one. The problem is he could not go forward, right? These boys are blocking her all the way. Master Quan. You have to take the full front of these boys. Oh boy. Alright, finally we could do something here. Now she can move on. You. Let's go here first. Take care of this barrel. Alright, nobody got harmed there. Which is great, yo. Which is absolutely great. Oh my, 123. Wow, dude. Wow, 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 we wow. I'm so happy that this guy is so tanky in this game, right? In comparison to what he was before. Uh, yeah. Troubling. He has to sacrifice himself, sure. Hanger, you go right there. You, on the other hand, you might be going here right now. So we still do some damage at least. Hopefully that is. Oh, aren't you a brave girl? 19%. Not a lot though. 83. Oh my lord, no, we are missing a fatal round. And I'm sure she cannot do much here. <laughs> oh, it is a tough world at times, right? Alright, nothing there. And the turn. Quan is going to take something, at least. Yep. Oh, no fig. Well, he took the fire, though, but he didn't get hurt by it. Here we go. Yeah. I mean, that's cool, right, you know? Yeah, look at that. These gippers, man, they are still uh, walking. Which is, which is good. Very good, even. All right, you go here. Nice. Oh, yeah, boys. Thank you. I will be careful, though. I will be careful. Nice. Leave Denver. Blah, 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 blah. The thing, though. Oh, fishing hook. Hide the sign? Ah. You know, I, I am hardcore against most robotics in these types of games, right? Because we do know what you have been doing, right? You know, to the people since AI. I am very suspicious. I want to give everybody a fair hey, chance. Chandler. Why not visit Denver, the cultural center of Breed, Colorado? Warning, dangers of Denver include hostile wildlife, scavenging thugs, raking worshipping fascists, rusty nails, collapsing buildings, and background radiation. Denver, the jewel of the north. Okay, wow. Worshipping fanatics, huh? <laughs> I love when games are self-aware. Oh my lord. Yeah, we're gonna be rich. I tell you. I tell you. We got a gold bar here. Price 2500. And bones. All right. Wow, dude. Oh my lord, though. That's beautiful stuff, man. And we're back with big news. It seems that the infamous Desert Rangers have arrived in Denver. Infamous? Stay tuned for more developments. Wait. Is infamous the bad one? I always forget. Yes, it is. It's the the one that is associated with negativity. Hmm. So we are infamous around here, huh? So apparently these guys are commonest, right? These these robotics here. And uh, something of an anarchist type of thing. Yet What's the robot the said. Paintings? The robot said you were folding, right? Commune bomb hopper. We got a container here. Oh. Junk pile 2. Ooh, serious arguments with satisfactory resolution. Interesting. 3. Oh my god.
Rest in peace if you're like me with a headset on, dude. Whoa! Turn it off! <laughs> All right, now let's see. Can we talk to you, big boy? No, to you, Grito. Whoa. There we go. Welcome to our commune, Desert Rangers. We've heard so many stories about you and your famously violent exploits. Come in. Our home is your home. Why violent, though? Nerd stuff 6, override the robot systems. System override accepted. Administrator access. I am all for AIs and robotics, by the way, right, you know? But we have to be on one line, you know what I mean? Whoa, 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 not cool. We value sanctity of mind here. Luckily, we've got millisecond backups just in case. But seriously, don't do that again. Be cool. Is that cool with you? Sounds awesome. But we are also looking for something called the cybernetic transfer modula. Whatever. We are looking for a special piece of equipment. Shut up. Give us the cybernetic transfer module or we'll turn you into scrap. Let's go for the first one. Then you should talk to the machine intelligence tower. It's a little bit northeast of here. We don't really have a leader, but for human purposes, you could consider them our leader. The machine intelligence tower is currently parsing data, but it'll call you when it's ready to talk. Until then, feel free to hang out and chat with members of the commune. We're all friends here. Okay. I mean, it is kind of interesting that these guys are probably representing a perfect com communist communion, right? But... You might actually forget one thing. These guys don't need anything. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? And they are programming and not to one. So that's also interesting. What do you think about the Gippers? They don't like us, but they worship one of us. It's quite confusing. But so are a lot of things humans do. If only we had some way to bridge that gap of understanding. Hmm. And why do we have to wait for the machine intelligence tower to call us? We need to talk to it now. You can. But what's the fun in that? Chill and hang out, dude. Chat with some fun-loving machines. Give your brain me to work out with some stimulating conversation. You sound like someone who wanted to get some other stimulants, by the way. And what is the machine intelligence tower anyways? A multitude of sentient software programs working together for the good of all sentient life? Duh. Who wouldn't want to just talk to them? Just follow the steps into the airport. Then the red line on the floor, step outside, then follow the catwalk up to the airport control tower. It's easy. Remind us how we get to the machine in this tower. What's the story behind uh, this commune? A bunch of us decided that we wanted to be friends. Why fight humans? Even if they hate and fear us and mercilessly hunt us like genocidal gods trying to fix a mistake in creation. Whoa, dude. Oh, my Lord. Maybe someday we can all be friends together and talk nicely. Like we're doing now. But even if that doesn't happen, it's nice to peacefully hang out with other machine life. Oh, it's interesting though. Not if I see you first. Peace, Tainy, Benvenido. Welcome, Fred, said Milfay. Ah, only the main languages of the world, huh? <laughs> Should we no! the tortoise so its legs are in contact with the ground? Ah. Ah! It appears delicate. Perhaps we could encourage it to write itself. Correction. Perhaps we could encourage it to do so if it were not already dead. Yep. So this is interesting. Rhetorical question. Rigid tortoise, if we flip you, where might you lead us? So the thing though is right, you know. Uh... The tortoise's name is... Bert, I do not know the source Bert? of this information, but I am certain it is correct. All right. The Soviet Union did actually collapse, right, because there was too many uh, administrations that going that on, too. It's not the only reason, but it's one of many, right? And because of this, the people did suffer. Yes. It's funny. It's sad in this case, though, in real life, too, because people did die because of that. But still, the tortoise appears to be a rigid as stone. It lays on its back, legs in the air. Flip the turtles onto its feet. 
Of flipping the tortoise over, you notice a small, precise lettuce uh, carved into the, its shell. Bird the tortoise. Hey, his name is Bird. The means is reaches the stone and feeds touch the ground, but it's not moving. Mm hmm. All right. No talk. Okay. Poor little thing, man. Poor little thing. If the only were more decisive, right? All right, the electronic panel here. Huh, good thought. But I'm on the other side of the ship. All right, so let's see, though. Oh, what do we have here? High power radio equipment has been welded to the spaceship's exterior frame. Huh. Well, hi there. Hi there, so. Well, hi there. Glad to see you in person and not, you know, via the radio waves bouncing off of you. I'm Sal. As you might have guessed, the voice of Free Colorado. Afraid I don't do autographs. Not because I don't want to, but, you know, no hands. I've been listening to you my whole life. But you don't look anything like I imagined. I'll bet you hear that all the time. Maybe we can hook up a printer or something. You have no idea. Are you in charge of the commune? Me? No, I can barely manage my own broadcast schedule. Put me in space, and I'm a right genius. But down here, I'm just me. So, I gotta ask, what do you think of my radio broadcasts? I don't often get the opportunity to hear direct feedback. Well, we barely heard you, right? Only two messages. We love your work. It really livens, uh, uh, livens things up while we are driving around. Your tissue music is great, too bad you'll never be able to appreciate it because you're not actually alive and capable of real emotion. We don't really have an opinion. We hate them. Is there a way to keep them from broadcasting to a radio? No, uh, we don't really have an opinion. Fair enough. I'll just keep on trucking until someone yells for me to stop, then. All right, yeah. The thing, though, is, is that we don't have enough data, right, you know, to well, make an opinion. I'm sure you've got places to be and people to query. Head on in. My friends in the commune would love to meet you. Have a great one. All right. Game saved. Yeah, probably wise. Look at this, though. This place just gets loopier and loopier. What the? What is this? Brothers in chains. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh, Indigo Rogue. That's a synth. Conquering Colorado. Brothers in Chains, Flute Chain Surface, and Painting the Most Beautiful Dream, Human and Robotics. I actually do like that though. Little Sparrow, on. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I have a weird feeling about this too, right, you know? Because of the ideology mostly. I know I don't look like much. Not compared to you, gorgeous things. But I'm what you call a sybarite. I spent 70 years in a pit, polishing joints, and I've had enough. I'm out for me now. I'm writing erotic poetry and painting stuff. I'm chasing life. Erotic poetry, huh? Well, maybe you should also practice on a hot dog, though. How that thing over there is twisting around and that one is pincing. Anyway, I know we just met. But I don't much like small talk. You and me. How about it? Oh my god, whoa. Wait a minute, you want me to have sex with us? Hell yeah, how do we do this? There needs to be a bit more verbal foreplay than that. Yeah, okay, alright. Oh, the humming vibrating inside the robot stops abruptly. My name's Little Sparrow, by the way. I shake hands, but I don't want to get lubricant all over you. Oh my, lubricant, you say? Mm-hmm. One of the robot's eyes flicker in a playful wing. Why do you call yourself Little Sparrow? It wasn't always my name, as you might guess. I used to be Manipulation Automaton 45 dash Anyway, I spent years of work in a ruined factory, long after the bombs fell, because I had nothing better to do. Eventually, I thought, is this it? Is this life? So, I ate a pair. What? Really? Why a pair? There was a billboard outside the factory. It had a lady eating a pear. And the look on her face, mmm, you could taste that look. 
I'd like to tell you it was a deliciously erotic experience. But honestly, it was a mess. Hair mash, ants, I won't go into detail. But that was when I knew I had to change myself. Become something new. I said to myself, manipulator, after 70 years of work, you owe yourself a little pleasure. So I read up on famous erotic poetry and modified myself for the purpose of sexual intercourse with beautiful creatures such as yourselves. One of my favorite poets is a human named Catullus. He used little sparrow as a euphemism for his reproductive organ. It sounds right, doesn't it? The words just thrum in you, like a fuse shorting out, or an orgasm. Not I at all. my name, so everyone can experience what I did. Can feel the thrumming inside when they call for me. Hmm, yeah, uh, we're gonna need more info about, of, uh, what, yeah, on how you modified yourself, indeed. Oh, hey, don't get the wrong idea. Ain't trying to scare ya. Look. Everything I jammed in here is engineered, right? Engineered by me personally for human pleasure. Little Sparrow's body unfolds, displaying well a number of devices whose uses are enormously self-explanatory. You see something in here you don't like? You let me know. It stays inactive while we enjoy each other's company. That's a promise. Oh my. Hey, enough of this shit shit. Let's get it on. <laughs> Let's hear some of that erotic poetry, sure. Yeah, sure. I got tons of the stuff. It's straight in staring above your head. I dream of skin. Of the nerves beneath, waiting. Like embers, hungry for breath. I'm still working on that one. Probably gonna go with the fire metaphor. I don't know. Lucia is starting a thing into space and she jumps blushing when you look her way. Oh my. And by the way, why are we looking her way, right? Enough of this chit chat, let's get it on. I thought you'd never ask. Oh no. Oh, drills? Oh no, 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 drills are bad right now. Yep. Whoa. That was just as good as I thought it'd be. Thanks a bunch. I will never be able to unsee that. Never. Why did you wash Lucia? The little sparrow closes itself with a satisfying series of clicks. Oh, ready for another round? Oh, yes. <laughs> no, that's just wrong, dude. Oh, that's just wrong. We already got an, uh, you know, disease right now. Oh, no. Hey, hope you like the last thing I did. I call it mechanics stretch the gears. I don't know if I'm going to be able to look you in the eye anymore, Chief. Oh, my Lord, yo. <laughs> Little sparkles and stuff and such like sense of clicks. Oh, oh. Oh, yes. For a time, it's the charm, huh? We had to prove ourselves to our team, apparently. Ooh, that was really something. Give me a sec to recalibrate. Oh, my. The spell closed itself with a satisfying series of clicks. Okay, no more comment, oh, apparently. Yeah. Look at that. Denver Rod. What happens in Denver apparently doesn't stay in Denver. Oh my. Yeah, we are not that type of girl though, by the way. But I want to show you this because it's 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 good humor, right? You know, it's it's humor for adults, you know, that's a good thing. Interesting. Well, if that ain't the rent, I did some thinking and decided you were right. A bit of tech was just what I needed. A funny thing, though. Once I got here, I, I saw these, and they brought me a sort of peace. I'm still uh, working it out. I used to skin people alive to feel this kind of peace. Have a seat, Rangers. Plenty of space here. The, mach the longer I stay, the more layers I see. Hmm. Just need more time here. Haven't seen it all yet. I mean, I'm very happy for him though, but I also have a very, very dark feeling though. Like, uh, you might be doing here, you know, something someday. And uh, we might not regret it, but we have to do it probably, right? You know? Killer? Why? No. Talk. 
Wow, well, I mean, you know, why is it called Killer, huh? Pico Game Player 2. Hi. Uh, yeah. One sec. Just thought of something. <laughs> so as it dies, it turns and whistles softly to a hologram several feet away. The hologram flails its arms in a phantom mind of okay, rage. Okay, okay, sorry. My name's Pico. I'm working on something. A game. A simulation. Really? It'll teach the commune to, uh, fight. Oh. Notes of three. What programming language are you using? It's, um, mine. I made it up. I couldn't type with the blades. And they didn't have any wires long enough to reach my ports. So I, uh, whistle at the computer's microphone. The audio signal has the code in it. Oh. <laughs> oh, do you hear that? I wanted to make a realistic simulation. A dangerous battle that prepares us for the real thing. We can't keep pretending that the world will leave us alone. Uh, would you like us to help uh, with your game? Hmm. Where are you? Oh, we always like this. A robot that makes games? Yes, uh, I don't really remember much because it was before, you know, the self-awareness. Yeah. I was sold to a game company named Badalicious Entertainment. Basically, uh, a human would tell me about a game and I'd make it for them. Interesting. Mechanics 4. You look like a combat robot. How did you end up making games? Originally, I had a more conventional body. But the human who owned Badalicious Entertainment bought this one somewhere and transferred me into it. He said it was Badalicious. I never understood that. Because I already had a functional chassis. And this new one made it very hard to use standard interfaces. My blades kept impaling keyboards. They made it really hard to type. Badalicious is a reference to Austin Power, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, avoiding your eyes. Oh! How does your game work? Tell us about the games you have been working on for Badalicious Entertainment. They told me to make an ultra-violent action thriller comedy game. I asked for more info, because I didn't know what comedy was. I still don't, because they got mad and walked away. Wow. <laughs> Alright, so avoiding your eyes. Hmm. We'd like to hear more about the games you made for Battleicious, yeah? I still have nightmares about one of them. Oh. It was a skateboarding game, and all I remember was the designer standing over me screaming, Make it more Battleicious. Over and over. Tony Hawk Skater Pro, right? Alright, <laughs> goodbye. Size. Yeah, we, we don't really, we don't really want to help him out like that. Please look into the console one to begin the game. Alright. Uh, what? Fispasem64, begin like game. Help me test my game. Sure. You would. Thank you. Draw blades, tremble with excitement. Ready <laughs> for player 2 to connect. Uh, wait. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Sneak strike. I think I'll talk it out. I've been locked in, ready to set. Oh my. Okay, so we won. Processing next round. They're becoming way more violent right now, though. I'm certain about it. Uh, precision the blast. strategy in this situation. Well, I'm sure they can be reasoned with. I choose. Talk it out. All right. There we go, though. Oh, yeah. Next round. Can I talk it out, too? Yeah, talk I know about. I should be more aggressive. Well, maybe I can catch them off guard. They won't be expecting me to. Talk it out. Yeah. Okay, interesting. So if both... Actually, I'm programmed now too, right? If we both talk it out, nobody is getting the ads. Nobody is losing. Nobody is winning. And there is no progress either. Huh? Because, you know, it's... It's a tie. That is very bad, by the way. That is very, very bad. I kind of want to... To help him out, though. I don't mind, actually, you know, to have a more difficult... I'm gonna take your fucking eyes Wow. We can begin whenever you're ready. Alright. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. I don't mind. It's... Let's just have some fun here. Wait there. And uh, we will see how it goes right, you know, in the end. It might just punch us right in the ballsack, though, but that's okay. Talk it out. 
So these have been locked in, ready to set. Okay, tutorial maybe. Mm hmm. When in doubt, just remember P. What RPS? The optimal strategy yeah. in this situation. Well, talk it I'm out. Sure they can be reasoned with. I choose. Talk it out. RPS. There we go. Out. Damn it's armor. Play again. Uh, good game. So we did help him out, I think. So, I guess you can see the problem with my simulation. Nuts of seven, huh? Hard as six. If this was a real battle, your friends would have died. You want that? Uh, what? You want that uh, on your con uh, confidence? A uh, conscience, I mean. Uh, maybe we should play as a robot. We should probably play it again, just to be sure. You choose to talk instead of fight. Of course, your robot lost. Uh, let's go with hard as six. No. no, I could. I could remove the talk option entirely. Then there wouldn't be any other choice but to fight. Okay. Oh no. Play. Oh no. They might actually be very bad, by the way, because then the robots are not talking anymore, right? That's also very I interesting. Talk it out is gone. Gone. I'll um, pick one at random, I guess. I'm sorry, little hologram. Not the player. No, he? no, I don't have a choice. I'll have to pick. Both did miss. All right, now I know what he's doing. Wrist oh attack. Dear. Miss, miss. Oh, Sneak. I wish I could still choose. Talk it out. They two has one. Seriously, though. No? Wrist no. attack again. No, I don't have a choice. I'll have to pick. Mm. Oh dear. Oh, I wish I could still it seems... to talk it out. Okay, we won. Precision strike is the way to go, apparently. The robot still hasn't won, even without the top option. Can we play again? No, we cannot, big dude. Yeah, we yeah. cannot. Yeah, I ignore you, big boy. <laughs> All right, now let's see though. We do know. Yeah, I stand again faint. Modern noises. Oh boy. So, what do you think of the paintings? Considering you're just a robot, these are great. They're fantastic. Nice work. They're evocative. They're awful. Cliche delivery. Uh, predictable. Even if you were a human, these would be below average. Um, considering you're not a robot, yeah, you're a robot. She stares at you, unresponsive. How did you come up with these anyways, huh? So these are copies, right? Who is the original human painter? Wow. The lens is in its head, click and roll, but otherwise the machine stays silent for several long, uncomfortable moments. No, no they're not. To work. <sighs> Little Sparrow, the hedonist over there, did one of the murals. I'm not going to tell you which. The little hedonist. Yeah, well, 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 well yeah, well... It is kind of obvious, isn't it? <laughs> I didn't want to be rude to the rogue, though, but... To the synth, I mean. Immune bomb killer. I don't like those names, man, you know. Inspirational nap, she says. I think there are a couple of uh, synths here to begin with. Add a tape to archive proposal. This is kind of bad, man. There are turrets here. Powerful turrets, too. Uh, Counterintelligence. As we visit to Aaron about uh, its healing and repair methods at the machine commune. The robot observes you quietly, its camera eyes panning up and down your are body. You of repairs or enhancements? Repairs to dermal, muscle, and organ tissue are available. I also offer supplies that facilitate personal maintenance. Hmm. We'd like to know more about how you uh, about how you heal humans and repair robots. I have amassed 15.2883 terabytes of data detailing my work on organic and synthetic life forms. 
it would be possible to create several statistical models and produce a diagnostic report. I see. However, it will take considerable processing resources, and I am currently without my assistant Vicky. It is a fragment of my consciousness, copied into a simpler robot, and does many useful tasks for me. I hope to secure samples of some long-dead humans who once camped in the disused hangar behind our commune. It should take a similar amount of time for you to find and return it to its station, as for me to prepare the report. Let's see, and why did people camp in the hangar when it's warm inside here? They were invited inside numerous times, but seemed wary of synthetic beings. Perhaps they had sustained past traumas involving robots. Probably. But yeah, we cannot judge everybody, right, you know? Uh, why do you want samples of dead humans? Studying the effects of long-duration exposure to extreme temperatures on biological matter could reveal avenues of study to repair such damage or safely preserve living tissues in cryogenic conditions. Ah, already done, though, in World, uh, World War II. Not in the nicest ways, by the way. We will head to the hangar now. Acknowledged. The hangar is accessed through the western exit from the airport. All right, good to know, good to know. All right. What do we have here, though? Big winners. <clears throat> Time has been unkind to this better fending uh, machine. The exterior is covered in uh, techie stickers and the glass is caked with filled. Looking closely, you notice extensive gravity discuss of discussing goat uh, genitalia. Don't be shy. Welcome to the vexingly vast world of Vendomatic 2000. I've got everything you need. Everything? God damn it. I always get that line wrong. Can you take a few steps back and then do that over? Act surprised. Adds to the atmosphere. Wow. Defending machine with, uh, which had come alive at your approach seems to sack onto itself. Sure, why not? Let's try it again. Step right up. Don't be shy. Welcome to the vexing vast world of the Vendomatic 2000. The fantastical, phenomenal, and mystical... Hydraulic squeak and grind as it goes on for another minute or so, spilling adjectives like a drunk until it at last subsides. Do you want to do another take? Hey, we thought that was great. Now we were hoping you could answer some few questions indeed. Answers? I've got your answers right here. Best answers this side of Denver. Answers so eloquent and excellent you'd think they were straight from the mouth of Machine Jesus. Uh-huh. Erupts into a strangely jaunty tangle of music, huh? Or maybe not. Looks like my gossip depot is still corrupted. But that's not why you're here, is it? Indeed. One dollar's insert money into the Fandom Medic 2000. <laughs> One money lost. You hear the... Uh, what? You hear your money clanking to the Fandom Medic 2000's insides. A pneumatic shriek and shuddering whine. Like something caught and broken between gears. Huh. Odd. Well, like I always say, if at first you don't get what you want, just pay again. Well, nerds to five, huh? Check around the back for an admin panel to see if anything is amiss. Mechanic 6, pry open the access terminal and see if you can stop it from being a cheat. Nerds to five. Uh, the Fendo Medic 2000 internals are easy for you to navigate. You can immediately tell that someone has installed an override to its core personality. Within a few minutes, you remove the hack and with it, phenomatic compulsions to cheat customers. Ah, thank you, friend. Back in the old days, a rather unscrupulous owner of mine rigged me up to cheat customers. I hate, hate, hated it, but I couldn't do anything to change it. <laughs> Awful. But now I feel great. You couldn't I even warn like people? I feel singing, star-spangled banner, crisp and... Ooh, that tickled something. Anyway, what can I do you for? Whoa, 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 that appears to have worked. Oh my! Whoa! Look at this though, the Night Terror Plushie, huh? Damage versus mutant by 10%. That's actually pretty nice to be honest, isn't it? The insulating fuel plating. Oh my! Hmm, this is pretty okay though, huh? Head dance horn. Hmm. Oh my, 750. That's beautiful though. That's really, really good. 
We got some duck techs here. We still got this for 600. Wow, man. That's a difference, huh? MP cylinder. Demonsys and suck targets in the rear around the user. I mean, that's some very cool stuff, though, right? You know, capable of emitting uh, disrupting a little to magnetic pulse to do the 60 damage. And this one, and then we have the helmet that also has that. Wow, we wait, 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 this one. Oh, it's like this. But this one does also <laughs> the extra damage, right? You know, look at that. Uh, 22 to 48 damage. That's some great stuff, though. <clears throat> All right, let's Analyzing just... Analysis. Yeah. Failure. Purpose. Unknown. Recalibrating. Estimated completion time is 30 seconds. Interesting. Let's talk to the big guy here. If we can, that this is. This unit is occupied with great mysteries beyond human comprehension. The user cleaned in hundreds of years. Rangers, we are here to speak with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. We do know, we do know. We might be coming there. But remember Tinker? The one up ahead's making me nervous. Remember Tinker, though, huh? Oh my god, Tinker survived from Wasteland 2? Oh no, this is really bad, though. The figure is a small bone and a leaf. Under the ragged clothing, her face is patchwork nightmare of shattered plastic and twisted cogs. Rangers. Who are you? You don't know who I am, Meat. I suppose I should not be surprised. To you humans, you rangers, we are all the same. Mm, the last words invokes a dribble of sparks. I am Tinker. In your parlance, I am a synth. What happened to you? Your kind happened. Your kin. You rangers. They murdered me murdered matthias they took everything but of course you wouldn't know your species keeps its sins close tinker i remember you being rather evil towards humans though grief stricken she uh, squeezes her fist shut your colleagues in arizona killed me and matthias out of fear fear of what we would create fear of what we could become yeah actually you declared war against us right kiss as for for what it's worth we are sorry for what happened to you the war between us should end but why is that name sounds uh, familiar and how did you get here my body was saved by faithful drones i gave them life in demonta they sought help for me in return dragged me across the wayland until they found this place the machines here repaired me, woke me from death. Hmm, Mephias, that name sounds familiar. He was the messiah. Were it not for you rangers, he'd have remade the world into something better. Would have freed you from that woolless meat. But ah, uh, you and yours wouldn't let him. He showed me that this world could be bigger. More beautiful than this hell of wasted and worthless filth. I trusted him. I believed in him. Pinpoints of light flare in her cracked glass eyes. She probably doesn't know that base cut cheese did take over all the sins, right? Then your kind destroyed him. After he tried to destroy us. But do you still believe in him? And now he's gone. It isn't the time to move on. You're stupid, defective machine, and your Mephias is nothing but a false prophet. Uh, nothing but questions. Uh, let's go for the first one. Yes. Yes. I think so. I am sure so. This universe cannot be this ugly. There must be the opportunity for change, or what is the point? It cannot be so chaotic. So. So. She should have had wagging finally. It was not his fault. He could not have known that we are like meat as well. That when we die, there is nothing. No thought. No motion. Only blackness. No separation between us and worthless flesh. Mm. <clears throat> if you have a score to settle with the ranges, let's settle it now. Would you like to challenge me? I am not opposed. Believe me, Meat. 
I will happily take your life. A small splits her mouth. Uh, no, you're barely functional. It won't be a fair fight. Uh, you're on, but not here. We need to level a playing field somewhere where uh, we'd be on even footing. Uh, let's do this here and now. Yeah, why not? Whoa, 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 whoa. Everybody is hostile directly, huh? Jimmy G? Oh, that's, uh, six or G? Six, all right. Well, apparently, yes, it's, uh... <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Barely anything there. But we don't want to do it directly, right? I will go back to this point, and I will see you guys in the next episode where we are going to uh, even the fields, all right? So stay happy. Stay healthy. And don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful time, guys. Bye-bye. Let's see what she has, by the way. Oh, Fortune Churner, Tinker's Hat, and Glowing Ooze, and Scrap. All right, awesome.